Where you going, baby? Nah, you don't have to go nowhere. Celebration. Uh. Celebrate being sexy. Ooh. Let it all hang out. Now don't you stay your wild babe. Uh. Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. What? I like your smile and your lifestyle, babe. Oh, really? Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. Uh. <laughs> Grazie. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. 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 Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. What's shaking? Welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crushed Grapes TV, and I am Cab Cabernet. And uh, if you do not know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. Today, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call this episode the, the, the curse episode, or the cuss episode. Uh, because uh, today I, I really, uh, uh, I could give a fuck, basically. And um, that's just how I'm feeling. Uh, a lot going on, and um, I'm just a little, a little perturbed. And... Um, I mean, look how many fucks I can give, honestly. They're just falling from the sky. Um, so if, if you hear me uh, cussing and uh, cursing, I like to say, uh, more, than, uh, more than usual, um, that's why. Because I don't give a fuck. And if it offends you, then fuck you too. Uh, you know, turn off the show. <clears throat> uh, go watch some uh, bullshit to... Uh, Tight ass wine swami snob show where you know the guy ain't think you would like this and we'll go to the boob. Today we're gonna be tasting a uh, Malbec rose from a wine that we call Femme out of uh, Cote du Lat, France. Um, Femme. Now, um, it's springtime in New York City, and um, it feels like it's fucking summer, though. Uh, it's like 80 degrees right now. It's like, it's like we just skipped winter and right in the fucking summer. Um, so, I'm drinking a lot of whites and, and blushes or rosés, and um, those that know me know that I actually really do uh, dig Malbecs. Uh, Malbecs, Malbecs are um, uh, the best Malbecs in my opinion uh, are made from France, uh, which uh, that that grape is actually, well, that wine was actually originally made in France first. Um, but it, the, most of the Malbecs you're gonna find nowadays are in uh, from South America. Uh, Malbec is actually. Uh, uh, Argentina's grape, uh, official grape, or some shit like that. Um, but it's just made differently because of the climate, right? You're gonna have a, 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 a warmer climate, you're gonna have um, a, a different type of wine, different weather. So, I, I dig the cool climate more back, but even more so. The fact that this is a hundred percent Malbec and it's <clears throat> and it's it's a rosé and uh, some of you might ask, well, how do they do that? Well, the light, the, the colors lighter, of course. Um, the the reason why red wines are, are red are dark red is because they actually use the skin. Okay, um, the skin have a lot of nutrients in them and. and it's very dark, inky color that comes out of the skin. Any any grape, you know, if you ever bit open a grape and just like saw the juice, um, the juice is all always very clear. Uh, it's not dark. Yeah, it might be light light red or purple or something like that, but it's never dark red. That's the skin of a dark grape. So. 
obviously they did not use the uh, skin when making the wine, so it's going to come out lighter. Um, another way that you could make rosé is, is mixing red and white wines together. And uh, that's going to change the color. So this is 100% Malbec, so they didn't mix any other grapes together. So anyway, I don't really give a shit about that. Um, I, I give a shit about the taste right now. And um, this wine uh, is delicious. It reminds me of, uh, um, like it smells like candy. Honestly, it smells like uh, cotton candy and uh, candy apples. It's like a, a candy apple from the, the carnival or some shit. Like it's, it's really bringing me back to my childhood. Just smelling it. Very sweet uh, candy, sugar, syrupy type of, you know, strawberry syrup type of smell. Strawberries and cream. Um, strawberry shortcake. The flavors are dancing around <laughs> in my mouth right now. And uh, it's not really sweet. Um, I know I'm describing a lot of sweet desserts and shit and, and, and sweets, but it's quite dry for because it is a Malbec grape. And Malbecs are, you know, as you know, uh, are, are usually very dry. So this is a dry, you know, rosé. And uh, you could pair this with, you know, it's a light wine, you know. Um, you could pair this with salads. Uh, uh, you could you could you could eat it, uh, drink it as an aperitif. Um, uh, even light pastas, like a, a light, you know, white sauce pasta or light olive oil pasta with uh, with no sauce, just you know. Um, but just drink it alone on a, on a nice warm day. This is a really crisp, clean, fresh. Delicious, uh, enchanting, fucking, you know, succulent uh, specimen of, of, of wine. And um, I would give this a 3.5, actually. Um, and that's for the taste and, and, and the drinkability, but also the bang for the buck. Believe it or not, this wine, you can catch this and you can find it. Again, you can't find it everywhere, but if you can find it, this is only going to run you between 7 and 12 bucks. And uh, that's great for this little say. Like, I suggest you buy a case when you find this shit for the summer. 12.5 alcohol, uh, 2012 Malbec Rosé, Cote du Lac from Fan A. And um, that's it for today. Um, uh, I, I know it's, it's uh, I took a week off or two, but you know, I have, fuck it, I got things to do. You know, and, um, I don't have to ask your permission to, uh, you know, take a week off. You know what I mean? Um, but if you have no fear, I'll be back. Once again, this is Cap Cabernet, Cap Cabernet's wine of the day, which is Crushed Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow. Cheers. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cap Cabernet.